The title of my exhibition in Lyon is Chance and Chains. Chance and Chains is the, uh, the base of my life. All what is happening is happening in this frame. You can step out of the frame and you're still inside. Hear my breath. I am alive. Here, that's my studio. This is my atelier. Here I, I am every day. Here the work is done. It's not me who is doing it. It's nature who is making this. Almost every day I spend an hour or half a day sometimes here in the forest, outside between the trees and the vegetation, hearing the birds. So that's my work I do here. I look around, I experience it. And my work as an artist is to, to communicate this experience. I was trained as a horticulturalist. And after that I worked on two scientific institutions. There I learned to work systematically. Learned how to compare, to present the results systematically. And had a big influence on my work as artist. To show the things I have seen in an objective way that communicated in the best possibility that I had. So when I show a collection of bamboos, <laughs> as a recent work, they come from the Botanic Garden in Bogor of Java in Indonesia. <laughs> you see a collection of 15 species, they are all different. And you see a collection of 15 stems of one species, Bambusa vulgaris. And they are similar, but they are all different. So you see individuality. Individuality in, in the whole of the range of possibilities. We have a, lot, a big range of possibilities around us. You have just to look around and see it, experience this. And I learned a lot of scientific approach to do this. But I'm not a scientist, I'm an artist. My From Earth works are that I discovered that on the soil where I move around, they are all different in structure, but in the first place also in color, in softness and in hardness. So I started to collect earth, to make an earth museum. And the earth museum expanded, become bigger and bigger. It is now a museum Cassandi in Dinje. It shows the incredible scope of the colors of the earth. The earth is where we move, where we move over. What is it, our base of life, where the plant life, uh, see, develops from. <laughs> so, <laughs> without Earth we have no life. So, es sind schon fast 8000 Proben ausgerieben worden von Hermann, anderen Leuten, die geholfen haben und mir. Und von jeder Reise werden die Proben dann in den Katalog eingearbeitet. Without that anybody sees what what I have collected, what I have to to show, it's incomplete. <laughs> you, the spectator, makes my work complete by looking it, by experience it, and follow my experience. Um, 
possibly widen your own or f find the security that uh, somebody as me has the same experience as you had. So you can see <laughs> these different earths in the installation. There come a lot of colors <laughs> depending on the geological origin of it. So it, there is no one relation to your own environment. It's the same with the stones. The stones are all collected around uh, Leon in the landscape, also on, on different points of the landscape with a different geological structure and origin. Uh, uh, and every stone is an individual. <laughs> every stone has its own character. Has every has, has, so his own process of change. <laughs> and we are changing, the stones are changing. We have something in common. That's beautiful. That's different and identical. It's all together. As a child, I lived in North Holland. There was the sea, there were the dunes. I was smelling, you hear the girls flying over. You hear the sound of the waves on the beach. Sometimes I fell in a small trance. And there was no difference anymore between me and the place where I was. That's an important experience. I had as a child and it accompanied me during my life till now. And now I need this experience to be inside the nature. I need it for my work. I need it for my being. That's my existence. This connection is necessary and perhaps this necessary for everybody. And the relation of a modern man and nature is no longer in the consciousness. They buy their food in the supermarket, they buy their drugs by their dealer, and this is their connection. And with our relationship to nature, our, our life and our culture is lost. And the most people are no longer aware. So I would say, be aware. Yeah, beside the stones and the earth, there is another work related to Lyon and the region, to Spain. These are the sickles. The sickles connect us also with the product of the earth, with the plants. Our own relation to nature was for food. We were harvesting, collecting, cutting. The, the sickle is the mo most ancient form of, of culture we have. And uh, this tool is a reminder. We have a cultural relation to the vegetation and the earth. Uh, the sickle represents this. What I am doing is, as the artist, is a contribution to close the gap between man and nature. Perhaps there is an impossibility, but at least I can open the focus to become aware of our need to have a relationship with nature. Hear my breath, I am alive. <laughs>